Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 20th February, the fourth prototype of South Korea's homegrown fighter KF-21 conducted its successful maiden flight. The two-seater prototype took off from the Air Force 3rd Flying Training Wing about 300 km south of Seoul at 11.19 am and completed a 34-minute flight. On 5th January 2023, the third prototype of KF-21 took its maiden flight and this prototype took off from the Air Force 3rd Flying Training Wing at around 1.01 pm and completed a 37-minute flight. The fighter was tested for speed and payload parameters. On 19th July, the first prototype of KF-21 took its maiden flight and on 10th November, the second prototype of KF-21 took its maiden flight. The first prototype was tested for speed and second one was tested for the plane's structural load capacity. The South Korean firm KAI has planned to make six prototypes of KF-21. The flight testing of these prototypes will happen in stages from December 2022 till the first half of the year 2023. The country has planned to deploy 120 KF-21 fighter jets by the year 2032. KI has planned total 2,000 tests for the fighter jet by the year 2026. So talking about KF-21, it is an attempt by South Korea to become self-reliant in fighter jet development which heavily relies on US-built fighter jets. It currently operates huge fleet of US F-4 Phantom II, F-5 Tiger II, F-15E Strike Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-35 Lightning II. South Korea is expecting to have at least 40 of the new jets come back ready by the year 2028 and 120 by the year 2032. From 2026 to 2028, KIA has planned to manufacture the initial units of KF-21 Block 1. Now talking about this fighter, the KF-21 is a twin-engine, 4.5th generation multi-role fighter aircraft. South Korea has sought technology assistance from Saab, Boeing and Lockheed Martin for the development of this fighter jet. The fighter jet is designed to have stealth capabilities exceeding both the Salt Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon but less than the Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II. This is the reason why it is not considered to be a true fifth generation fighter. It is also expected to be superior to F-16 Fighting Falcon with 50% greater combat range, 34% longer airframe lifespan, better avionics active electronically scanned array radar that is AAC radar and more effective electronic warfare and data link capabilities. The fighter jet has a length of 16.9 meters, wingspan of 11.2 meters and height of 4.7 meters and wing area of 501 square feet. The empty weight of fighter jet is 11,800 kilograms and gross weight of 17,200 kilograms. It has maximum takeoff weight of 25,400 kilograms. The fighter jet is powered by two GF414 after burning turbofan engine with dry thrust of 7.8 kN and 97.9 kN with afterburner. The fighter has a maximum speed of Mach 1.81. The fighter jet will have an AEC radar developed by Hanwha Systems with assistance from Israel's Elibit system. The radar is expected to match the performance of F-35. KF-21 is capable of carrying up to 7.7 .7 tons of weapons and fuel under its wings and fuselage. The KF-21 Block 1 will not have internal weapon carriage, which is planned for subsequent production blocks. The initial version will also lack air-to-ground striking capability since the homegrown long-range air-to-ground missile is to be developed by mid of 2020s. The fighter jet will have 10 hard points, 6 underwing and 4 under fuselage. It can carry various air to missiles such as MBDS Meteor, AIM-120 AMRAAM, short-range infrared homing air-to-air -air missiles such as IRST, AIM-9 Sidewinder. In air-to-ground category, it can carry Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile. Overall, it's going to be a decent 4.5th generation fighter 
which is going to have high maneuverability, advanced weapons for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missions, features to reduce radar signature and integration of radar and infrared sensors. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.